Hi everybody, um, it's a very, it's very, um, it's a very big Lego news day, so I'm just cramping it into one video, so yeah, um, so we got three stories here today, and yeah, um, let's just get right into it, and uh, yeah, so the first thing is the, May the 4th Lego promo, um, so yeah, let's just get to that. So here it is. I might have to just pick some sets up just for this. It's rated as the 20th anniversary set, which is fine. But, uh, yeah, I really like the at, -AT And, yeah, looking over here, there's no price for, uh, uh, range for it. It's it, from the 1st to the 31st, which is weird for May 4th promos. And, and uh, I don't know. It's in, it's in, a, in a weird language. So I'm guessing $75 or more. I don't know what's going to get me up to that rate, but it looks really good, so I'm probably, I might pick it up. I might have to pick it up at, um, when Lego store sell, my Lego store s just sells it as a regular set, because my Lego store does that sometimes. So yeah, base and I hope that double cheese slope on the, on the, um, at, -AT is not, is, uh, printed. Our next story comes from some new Lego Summer Ninjago sets, um. So yeah, basically we get seven new sets. There, there are some slam, uh, some like spinners. They're now called slammers, but I didn't, I couldn't find any good pictures of those ones, so I'm just not gonna show those. So yeah, so yeah, um, let's get right to it. This, uh, they hit it right off with a bang with these boxes, but this set is really good. Um, I really like this and uh, that new wolf. Is that wolf piece new? I don't know, but it is a nice, neat samurai, good Lloyd, and I'm honestly going to pick this one up. Uh, I mean, what is it, going to be like $20 at the most? I mean, that's a good steal right there. Um, yeah, if they're really pushing it, $25, but $20 at the most if, you're, if, you're not, if you like this one. This is the land bounty. Um, I guess it's like a, a, a land version of the Destiny's bounty. Um, I don't know, I just... I don't know. I don't know if I like this one or not. It's, it looks around seventy or eighty dollars, ninety if they're really pushing it. But I don't know. I honestly don't know if I like it or not. I mean, this looks really cool, but like, it doesn't look like anything's justifying it. Like, really, there's no exclusivity right here. If I'm not mistaken, those snake miniatures might be exclusive though. And here's this one. Um. This one's probably gonna be forty dollars at the most. We don't know the price range of, this, of these ones, but I mean, only this is like as bad as the combat battle. It just looks bad. Um, uh, I don't. I'm tired of these huge vehicles for the, these themes. They did it with. They're doing it with Spider Man now with Ninjago. We don't need it. Um, we don't need these big oversized vehicles for these characters. You guys need to stop, Lego. It's time to stop. And then uh, you got this one right here. Another big vehicle. Um, Cole's dirt bike. Hmm. I don't know. It's just for some reason Cole looks like a girl to me or something. I don't know. But I don't know. I don't know if I like this one or not. It's gonna be twenty five dollars at the most. I'm hoping it's like only fifteen dollars though, cause that's would be, that would be a really good steal. But yeah, um, might pick this one up, might not. Depends on the price. Um. So yeah, there, there I just got spin on my screen. So yeah, I mean, and is that Snake Man Fear exclusive? I don't know. And this one is the most beautiful. We get uh, the, some really aesthetically pleasing stuff. Um, I really like this castle build. It's really cool. They're probably gonna. This is probably gonna be only like a hundred dollars at the most. Um, yeah. And zooming in there, you got this beautiful fox minifigure right there. That that is a really good minifigure. And um, that ice dragon up there, just great. And yeah, this looks at like at the most one hundred ten dollars, but ninety dollars. That could be a really good steal. I'm definitely going to, uh, but these are probably going to come out after my birthday, so maybe Christmas? I don't know. But, like, this looks really good. I, I mean, I'll have to pick this one up, definitely. And 
I don't know why. It just uh, I it just forgot to stop that part. And then this one, I'm I might pick this one up, but like if they put it anywhere over fifty five dollars, it's gonna it's gonna turn me right off. I mean, I don't like it. I mean, I like it, but look, like fifty five dollars is my limit for this one, cause this one looks really cool, and I really like it. Maybe not a pickup. Maybe and maybe a pickup. Maybe not a pickup. I don't know. Whatever you. I don't know. I don't really think anything. And then you got this. Um, Fire Fang set. Definitely gonna pick this one up. What is this like? Forty five dollars at the most. So great steal you got there. Um, some cool s snake minifigures, but uh, um, you get a, a really cool Kai with that flaming helmet. I mean, honestly, that's super cool. So yeah, and then you get this Viper build. I don't know about the paper for the ears. I think they could have done something else for that. Those little things that go out to the sides on Vipers. But, uh, who cares. And yeah, that's basically it for that. Uh, these uh, Ninjago sets. So I'm just going to wait a couple seconds until this stops. And there, and yeah. And yeah, so that's basically it for those. It's interesting that they're including some of the spinners and some of the new sets. Uh, some of the, like, regular sets. That's really interesting for me. So yeah, um, but now our third story comes from, um, the ta uh, uh, Lego Star Wars. The Tantor 4 has revealed... Um, they're doing a new 2019 Tantor 4, and it looks really good. I might have to pick it up. And it's probably going to retail for $200. Let's get right to it. So, yeah, this is basically it. Um, let's look at this outside. It just looks very aesthetically pleasing. Um, it just looks really good. Yeah, this really, these really cool cannons on the top, yeah. But yeah, for your minifigures, you got uh, C-3PO, R2-D2, a rebel trooper, a um, a empire trooper. Sorry, um, some resistance guy. I don't know. Um, and then you got Leia with, uh, with some white legs to switch out for her dress. And then you got some very nice uh, stuff. You got some uh, a brick separator, so uh, some stuff to load in your shooters, uh, some extra shoots, uh, shooting stuff. And yeah, and honestly, this looks like a really good set from the outside. You could honestly. Not have an inside and then just like this set. I honestly like it for just looking at the set. You're like, wow, it looks so cool. But this, uh, uh, looking more at the inside, you can see you can load up, your, uh, store your shoot, your uh, shooting materials here, which looks pretty cool, I guess. You can recreate a scene over here, which very nice. Um, this looks like they're just uh, R2D2 is looking out to the distance and they're. And uh, Leia and this character from the Resistance are talking. I don't know. And then you got this, and then you can put the droids in the droid pod and the uh, escape pod, which just kind of lets me down. If I get if I get the droid escape pod from Micro Fighters, that means that just for nostalgia, this mean that means I'll get let down because this one looks like it's bigger. I, I mean, and it looks better. But if I, I mean. I like this, uh, I, I mean, I like this set, so I'm probably going to pick it up, though. So, yeah, and, and I don't know if it can fit both, both droids in with the roof on. It probably can, but it doesn't look like it. C-3PO might be a little bit too tall. And lastly, we have this little cockpit area for your uh, for your troopers. Um, got some really cool stuff. Um, yeah, it does look really cool. That seat build is super cool, though. I might have to steal that for my... Wayne's World car, don't tell anyone I do that. Uh, don't you dare tell Lego, but... Yeah, this is just very nice um, set right there. Uh, and yeah, this very nice area. Very nice, so yeah. So with that, that's basically all we have. Um, we basically... Uh, we had... this. Is, that was basically one of our top stories. I'm probably gonna take pick up the... Tantive 4, if I'm, and if I'm not mistaken, if I do pick up the Tantive 4, that's going to be my biggest Lego set ever. And I hopefully won't, uh, and um, I'm not going to pick it up myself. I'm probably going to ask for it for Christmas, because it's probably when that's when it's going to come out. Maybe 
maybe fall? Maybe it's coming out fall? I don't know. But I'm probably going to pick it up then uh, uh, for Christmas. So, yeah, that's going to be my big seller right there. Um, I re and I really like that set. So, yeah, basically, th that's going to be it for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell since the video, and goodbye.